welcome back to the House of Hughes. Listen, we've seen your comments, okay? We know what you guys wanna know. We know that you're worried, you're curious, and you wanna know if little Mr. Beckham still eats by mouth. Today we're gonna answer that question for you guys. We are going to demonstrate that question for you guys. And while I get Beckham's food ready, I'm gonna go ahead and get an oral feed ready that we're gonna do together. I'm also gonna get his G2 feed ready. I'm also gonna update you guys on the granulation tissue that Beckham has surrounding his G-tube. And while I get all of that prepared, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what Hunter and I made for lunch today because let me just tell you, it is fire. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that for you guys right here and then we will be back to feed this little guy and chat about all of those things. I am so excited to thank today's sponsor, HelloFresh. I love HelloFresh. I've been a customer in the past. and plan on being a customer for life. I am so excited to not only show you their delicious meals, but actually cook with you guys today and chat about how much I love them and why. HelloFresh offers chef-crafted recipes that can be made in the comfort of your own home. It honestly makes saving money and eating healthy so much more appealing and so much more fun. I've talked to you guys a lot about how Hunter and I have really locked down our budgeting and want to save a lot this calendar year. You would honestly be shocked how much you actually spend on grocery shopping and eating out and HelloFresh is such an incredible way to not only be able to cook at home but eat healthy meals and save money. I've talked to you guys a ton about this before but it is hard for me to get out to the grocery store especially with two kids so I am obsessed with the fact that HelloFresh literally delivers meals straight to my door. It cannot get more convenient than that. I've never been a huge fan of eating out so it is really really nice to have a healthy alternative. It's obviously really really convenient but another thing that I love is it doesn't require meal prepping. Obviously, a lot of you that watch me are really busy moms and it's just really hard to find that time to meal prep for the entire week. So having meals delivered to your door that you can cook in your own home without having to go grocery shopping is something that we all need. Not only is this obviously gonna save me a ton of time, but you guys, these meals are so, so good. I'm having the hardest time deciding what I want Hunter and I to cook today because all of their meals are amazing. But the three that I picked for my box is the creamy Dijon dill chicken. I think I'm leaning towards this one, but I think the hunter told me he really wants to make the zucchini and tomato flatbread. And then we also got the Greek chicken salad lettuce wraps. So as you guys can see, it actually just shows me on the card that they send in the box with all of the ingredients. It's going to show the ingredients that are included, a picture of what it's going to look like, and all of the instructions are right here on the back. You guys know that I am not the best cook. This makes it so easy, so easy to understand. If you're like me and you're just kind of learning how to cook, I feel like this is an incredible way to start. And I just keep going back to how much money this is going to save me because this is just a way better option than eating out. And it just saves me so much time with going to the grocery store. So I am a huge fan. I do also want to mention because I feel it is very, very important to point this out. HelloFresh is actually the first carbon neutral meal prep company. So not only is it all of those things that I just talked to you guys about, but it is also so sustainable, which I know is so important to all of you guys, and it's also very important to me. Another thing that I love, you guys, you know when you buy a ton of ingredients for like one recipe at the store, and then the rest of it goes bad in your fridge? All of these ingredients are pre-portioned out, so you don't have to worry about any waste. I can't even tell you how many times Hunter has been like, Rachel, stop buying things that you know you're not gonna go through because that's a big problem for me. So this is clearly already solving a lot of problems. Not only am I excited to show you guys what Hunter and I make today, but I obviously want all of you to be able to try it. You can actually get 65% off plus free shipping Yes, I said 65%, that is so generous, by going to hellofresh.com and using my code HOUSEOFHUES65. I will also have that link for you guys in my description box down below. Thank you so much again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Oh, Hunter. Okay, I feel like we might end up making the flatbreads. It just looks so good. Let's get Hunter Hughes down here so we can see which one of us wins and what we end up making. Hunter's actually home today, so he's going to come and make some lunch with me. We'll see what we end up making, but we will show you guys how delicious all of it is.
my personal favorite things in kind of creating this meal and setting this all up is if you look, every single thing is portioned out perfectly. Just take the top off and then I throw it in a bowl and prep it. So there's nothing to it and it shows if you want to make servings for two people or four people. So it's just so easy to take out exactly as much as I need, like Rachel said with the waste. But it's also, it just takes all the guesswork out of actually building the meal. Tried sometimes, but you're making me nervous. No, I've realized that I can't live without you. All my friends reassure that it's obvious, and that maybe I'm wasting my time. But I gotta try. The only reason I keep sneaking out at night to act with you in secret under city lights. Surprised you now. is amazing you guys know i love sweet things this is like the perfect amount of sweet and spicy it is so so good literally 10 out of 10. okay i made hunter eat his own because i'm literally so obsessed we're still here just like scarfing it down we haven't even sat down yet because we're so in love she has but had, I, she has not even finished the square and I, my pizza's almost gone <laughs> seriously it's so good but i said this tastes like you would get it out of a restaurant and this would also be the cutest date night idea it's so good. Mm. So good. I'm out, so. This is mine. Back I'm it out. up, boy. <laughs> now this could get tricky because, you know, Blakely really likes to help out with this one. Do you wanna help me? She's saying helping hungry. Helping, because Beckham's hungry. Is this Beckham's food? All right, well, we'll see how this goes. More Cheetos? Okay, let's get some more Cheetos and then hopefully that'll be a distraction. Come here, baby. Oh, a more, a more, a more. There you go. What do you say? You say, thank you, mommy. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands, okay. Wash your TV. Watch your TV, good girl. Okay, so a lot of you have asked, does Beckham still eat by mouth? And I guess I just kind of got in the habit of feeling like I had filmed me feeding him so many times that it seemed a little bit repetitive to me. But I love that you guys are still wanting to see me feed him. And so I would love to show you an oral feed. He's doing as good as he's ever done. As you can tell, he is like, mama, feed me. I see my food. This is one of his favorite flavors. It's the pear cinnamon oat. So let's feed this little guy. I always, always start with an oral feed before I do a G-tube feed, just so that he associates getting full with eating by mouth and not necessarily by the G-tube. Okay, I'm coming. Are you ready? Are you ready? Look at that smile. Yummy, good boy. He opens so big, I'm so proud of him. And he does love this flavor. He definitely has his favorite.
Is that what you're telling mommy? That you're all done? Ooh. Or do you want more? You want more? Okay, you can have more. That is something that is so ah. vital that we honor his cues. Yeah, up, up. Let me go get Blakely really quick. As I was saying, if he doesn't open his mouth for a bite, we never ever force him. We always try and really honor what he wants so that feeding is a very safe experience for him. Right now, our focus is quality over quantity, and that will be his journey to being able to feel safe with all food, and we let him tell us how much. We decide what he eats, he decides how much he eats. And that's what's worked the best for us. And it's also been the advice that our feeding therapists have given us. So he is obviously doing so amazing. I think you guys can tell, especially those of you that have been here for a long time, even just the way his demeanor has changed with his feeds, he is just killing it. I'm so proud of him. Good job. Yeah. Are you all done? Are you all done? Is that what you're telling mommy? Or do you want more? Do you want more? Good job. Good job, sweetie. <laughs> exercises to practice hand to mouth. We don't necessarily want that to be right in the middle of a dedicated meal time. So if I want him to get messy with his oral feeds and practice that and have that be a therapy moment, then we actually do that separate from a dedicated meal time. Just that's kind of what's advised by a therapist and it is totally understandable because of course, if he's grabbing the spoon and chucking it away from him, then he's associating feeds with something other than actually getting full and then taking the food, which is my job to make sure that we stay on course with that. So today he did so amazing. Can you give mommy high five again? I just need one more. Thank you. I'm so, so proud of him. finished giving Beckham his G-tube feed because we always want to, of course, supplement through the G-tube and give him whatever he didn't get in his oral feed through his G-tube. Oh, were you trying to share your Cheetos? That is so nice. Sometimes I wonder and just have it in the back of my mind. Will Blakely teach Beckham how to eat? I mean, I think sometimes she's able to teach him so much more than Hunter and I. Girl, what are you doing? That is fake. What are you doing? Look at Chloe, so majestic up there on the couch. Oh, did you give Chloe a Cheeto? Blakely shares all of her food with Chloe. It's no wonder they're best little friends. I'd love anyone who fed me too. Yeah, good girl. Can you tell the house of Hughes that you love everybody? Say, I love you so incredibly much. I'm so grateful that you were caring about me and wanting to see if I could still eat my mouth. Of course I can. I'm so brave, huh? 
My girl just asked me if she could go potty, so mama's gotta run. We hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. It was super fun for Hunter and I to have like a little date night over lunch time because we never get to do that. And we're coming up on his season starting, so it was really fun to be able to cook with you guys. And I hope that you enjoyed watching Beckham eat. I know that a lot of you have been asking about it lately, so it was really fun to share that with you. He is doing so well, and I am one proud mama. Of course, before closing out today's video, we want to remind you to be brave like Beckham, and we will catch you in our next video. Bye.